listening to The Announcer's Table with Daryl and Ian. This podcast is presented by RingIcon.com, the social networking site for wrestlers, fans, promoters, and everything indie wrestling. Log on today and create your profile, and as always, enjoy the show. Hey guys, it's Monday, so it's Promotion Builder Day. So, what's on the docket? What are we talking about this week? We're talking about wrestling. Wrestling? Wrestling. Wrestling. Wrestling talking about visiting other shows. Yes. And why it's important, especially as a promotion. Yeah. All right. Um, if you run a weekly show, you typically run Friday or Saturday. Or Saturday. There's not too many promotions that run both nights. Right. All right. So, so obviously you can't make it to the night that you're running. Yeah. <laughs> but... but Visit on the night that you're not. Yes. Just like one Friday or Saturday, whatever night, go to another show. Then the next week, go to another show. Just kind of yeah. check out what the other local shows are doing. Yeah, I mean, it's there are so... I Well, here in Georgia, there's so much competition between shows. Yeah. Um, I mean, and it's all, usually a friendly rivalry, oh, yeah. um, mostly here in Georgia. There's a few people that have issues with each other, but I mean, not very often, and, you know, they keep it professional. Yeah. So, um, so definitely, if you can, you know, you need to be visiting other shows. Why is it important to visit other shows? Well, it's, it's important, especially as a promoter, because that way you can see uh, how other shows are drawing, uh, what they're doing to draw, all right, what kind of talent they have, and how their talent compares to your talent and you need to go in with a unbiased look you know just kind of look at it and then think in your head oh wow you know maybe i could get this guy if he's not working on another night to come do a spot right. at my show or something yeah because you get to scout other talent and see them working in the ring right you know and you can see how they do how they have stuff set up or like how they do their stories and stuff like that so all all this going to do is just help you as a promoter build your brand better and make right. it better Right, and that, I mean, it, along with that is that you should be a pretty hardcore wrestling fan if you're a promoter. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you one, you should be able to enjoy the show. So if you don't enjoy it, then you should know why you're not enjoying it and what you can do to make things more enjoyable. Yeah. And if you have a friendly relationship with the promoter of that business, you know what I mean, or that show... Maybe you can give them some tips and pointers of your own yeah. that could help them out. You know well, what I mean? Well, chances are, and what I find in, in North Georgia and surrounding areas is most promoters and workers know everybody that's running the right. show. Definitely. If I go up to any independent wrestler and say, hey, can you give me a list of shows? Right off the top of their head, they can name every show around and who's running it and who's working it. Yeah. So, I mean, and so everybody's going to know everybody. So if you show up, they're going to know who you are. I mean, Definitely. probably not the people at the door. But the workers in the ring right. and whoever's calling the show is going to know who you right. are. You so, know. I mean, don't go in like your clipboard and stuff like that. But just yeah. go in and just kind of enjoy the show. Right. And just kind of see what they're doing. And, and if right. you know if their show is not doing that great, maybe you can give them some tips, depending on your relationship. Right. But definitely don't overstep your bounds yeah, no, in, no, that, no. in that area. You know, but at the same time, you know, mainly enjoy the show. Recognize what you can do to benefit your show yeah. that's the whole point of it is to see what you could do what thing you know when you walk in the door what things appeal to you what things turn you off you know what i mean and so then you can walk in your show the, the next night or whenever you run your show and say you know this is what i didn't like when i walked into this show so let's change it because yeah, you could like yeah because if you're doing so like if you go in with like fan eyes and just kind of enjoy the show and view it from a fan's perspective, you'll notice things differently, and you'll see how things... And then, like, you may be doing something at your show and be like, you know what, maybe I don't need to do this. Yeah. You know, you could get some great ideas from visiting other shows. Right. So... And even, I mean, I, I, even, this is a big, big thing, is that if you're in a place where you don't really have a whole lot of shows around you, you know, I mean, one, you need to build a relationship with that other show that might be near you or you know in your relative area but also two you do have one big show that comes to your sh your city once every six months or so and that's wwe raw or smackdown or the pay-per-view you know what i mean 
that's another place you can go in. You know, it's going to be a completely different environment, but you can still learn a lot from what the WWE does. Oh, you know absolutely. what I mean? I, you should always be, uh, I, I wouldn't say always watch WWE. You have to spend your seven hours a week watching WWE, but you need to at least be current on what they're doing. I think we're going to talk about that in a later, yeah, in, another, in another yeah. segment. But as for live shows, you know, as a promoter, walk into any show, whether it be WWE or a small independent show, and absorb what's around you. Yeah, because you know yeah. what they could also do, I just, just thought of this now, is uh, if you're like in an area and there's not a lot of shows real close to you, and so you want to get some attention to your show. Maybe you could talk to the promoter about y'all doing some cross branding. Right. You know, like maybe I would. I'm not going to say doing an invasion angle. Right. But you know, maybe come up with a, a title or something, and somebody from one show tries to take that title, and and just kind of just do yeah. some cross branding or something. Work it out that we can get some people attention to your show and their show, and and build it up. You know, stuff like that. Because it's all about. The brotherhood and the love of independent wrestling. I exactly. love independent wrestling. Ian yeah. loves independent wrestling. You're That's not making a million dollars as an independent wrestler or independent wrestling promotion. You know what I mean? So you got to have the love for the pat or for the business and to you know be willing to help others out to see everyone succeed and to build independent wrestling uh, and the the wrestling fan base because there's so many people with WWE that are fans of WWE that don't even know about the whole independent scene. And we're, that's what independent wrestling is. That's what we try to do is bring the two worlds together. Absolutely. You know? So, so uh, visit some other else? shows. Yeah. If y'all have any ideas, things y'all want to discuss, talk about, hit us up. Definitely. And tomorrow uh, is our gimmick builder, which is Tuesdays. Uh, tomorrow we're actually going to be talking about uh, visiting other shows as it pertains to your gimmick and your character yeah. and things like that. So. That's pretty much it for yeah, today. I don't have anything else. All right. So that's Promotion Builder. See you tomorrow. That's the way the cookie crumbles. There are always things about food. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>